After hitting a 10-year high in July, according to Statistics Canada, the inflation rate in August hit 4.1%. So what that shows is that prices have continued their upward trend during this pandemic. Uh, for a lot of people that we um, spoke to at St. Lawrence Market, especially the vendors, they say they feel a little bit trapped because their prices are going up to make sure that their, their shops are are supplied properly, but they're having trouble because they can't pass along that uh, price increase to their customers for fear of actually losing them. We have no choice but to keep the thing going. We need to kind of suck up um, the, the profits. And um, it's, it's a matter of survival. Only the strong will survive. Our cost has gone through the roof. Like it's it's we have to pass some of it on we don't pass it all on we take a hit i think it might go back to normal but i think it might take a while i don't see it happening in the next year or so some consumers feel that the uh, price increases that they've witnessed is not something transitory that it's something that they're going to have to live with especially given that the pandemic is continuing and they're not sure whether there might be uh, another you know potential lockdown so for some of them they feel that they've changed their, their buying habits a little bit, but will have to get used to the way prices have increased for now. If I want it, I buy it. <laughs> you may as well face it, it's not going to change, it's just going to get worse. So, you know, the prices aren't going to go down. At the beginning of the election campaign, a lot of people said that the cost of living was something that was definitely on their radar as a potential issue that could influence the way they vote. Because inflation numbers have come out twice during this campaign, once at 3.7% increase and this time at 4.1%, we'll definitely see how this may impact the final days of the election campaign.